who's judging Well, everybody's me. gonna look at you. Pointing at me, laughing at me. You're on your fourth plate of food and are morbidly obese in public. Of course they're going to look at you. That, the kid just knows he's on camera. <laughs> That fucking child. Hold on, let's go back real quick. Hello, my lovelies. My name is Lekka, and today we are going into season one, episode two of Thousand Pound Sisters. If you missed the last episode, go ahead and click on the icon here in the top right hand corner to go catch up on that. But we're gonna go ahead and jump straight on into it. Another day in Dixon, Kentucky. Me and my sister Tammy, we are going to Atlanta for a couple of days to meet with Dr. Proctor. Good. To see if we can get weight loss surgery. Good. But the other day, we went to the junkyard to weigh ourselves. And they were not and happy. It was a big disappointment. Now, I am determined. Good. I get a dessert. Good. It should be a wake-up call when you're this morbidly obese that you need it. You need the help. You need the surgery. And you we deserve it. Lot. And you're worth, yeah. you're worth it. I admit that I'm quick to snap at Amy. Tammy does have a lot of... I'm in pain and... Running out of oxygen, I start getting bad mood swings. Emotionally I'm unstable I'm moments. I'm nervous about this eight hour trip because me and Tammy tend to fight when we get in closed locations. I'm yeah. hoping everybody makes it to Atlanta alive, but I can't make no promises. <laughs> you know, that's fair. That's fair. And something I wanted to point out too, that she's wearing slippers. It's actually very, very common if you guys have people in your lives or know people who are morbidly obese that are, especially when they're 500, 600 plus pounds like Tammy is, it's very hard to put on shoes. They'll wear Crocs, they'll wear socks, they'll go just straight up barefoot and have other people clean their feet for them since they can't reach their feet to clean it themselves properly. Or they'll just wear slippers and it'll be indoor, outdoor slippers and they'll just always have slippers on to protect their feet but still have something for the road and for their house to give them traction because they can't put shoes on like people who are of a small smaller weight can because they literally can't reach their feet. They can't tie their laces. They can't even do elastic because they can't bend over to get to their feet to be able to do that. A lot of times people who are this size can't even put socks on themselves, let alone shoes, which is why slippers are a very common thing. So if you're watching this and you're wondering why are they wearing slippers? It's because they literally can't put on socks by themselves or shoes by themselves. So it's just easier. Do you think you can make it to Atlanta? Try. You can do it. There, you'll have time to I stop in you. between stops. Like you can sit down and take a break. Are you crazy? I'll be sitting the whole time. <laughs> but I'm sure you have to stop and use the bathroom. She'll have to use no, the bathroom, and she'll have to stretch her legs too. You don't want to get blood clots if you're going to be driving for eight hours. <laughs> a blood clot is a very <laughs> potential thing. Hi, Bucky. I thought about getting diapers for Tammy. Diapers. I'm not really sure if they make any big enough. I'm not sure if they make anything big enough for me. <laughs> or my cool. <laughs> Are you excited to go? XXXXL depends. Like that could be a market. We should make a meet and greet to meet some of our fans down there. Like oh, that's right, because they're YouTubers. <laughs> that actually would be really cool. We're doing a YouTube channel together. We do challenges or games, makeup, some cooking. You it still shocks me. They have over 100,000, 130,000 subscribers before they obviously got notoriety from being on reality TV here and then got so even more subscribers. We're making a YouTube video because we want to do a meet and greet. I'm hoping the least. 100 to 200 show up. Wow. I know a lot of my fans live overseas, and I'm okay if they don't show up. 100 hey to 200? it's Amy. And Tammy. And tomorrow we are going to Georgia. And we're packing up, getting things ready to leave. This weekend, we're going to be doing a meet and greet. We'll be signing autographs, giving out hugs, signing anything y'all want, like a book bag or something. Free Michael hugs! Yeah, Michael will be there. If you ever wanted to meet those Slayton sisters, now's your chance. Slayton sisters are hitting the road. I'm hoping that a lot of people show up because we're going to need that support on this weight loss journey. And yes, yes, you will need the support on your weight loss journey, but I mean, it could just be the editing. It could just be the editing. But am I the only one who noticed that they didn't mention once where the meet and greet was going to be or what time the meet and greet was going to be or what day the meet and greet was going to be? <laughs> You know, the very crucial details that are required for people actually being able to plan things in their lives and potentially show up if it fits in within their schedule. I mean, they could have just very easily cut it out to fit in for this TV show, right? There's a very short segment and you gotta remember the magic of reality TV. If they legitimately didn't give any of those details in the video, then how can they expect anybody to show up? <laughs> Because nobody will know where they are, what day to do it, or what time to do it. Like, Also, the fact that she wants, Amy here, wants 100 to 200 people to show up, that is a lot. Now, they do have over 130,000 subscribers at the time of this episode coming out, right? 100 to 200 people 
showing up last minute, right? They didn't give their followers a month or so to plan this. It's just, hey, we're going to Atlanta. If you're going to be in Atlanta, show up this day, this time, you have one day's notice because they're going to drive a day to get there, right? And they're going to do it when they're there. The fact that they've given them basically one day to last minute show up and do this, that is very unrealistic. I don't know if they've done meet and greets in the past, and that's why she has such a high number of people that she wants to have show up to her meet and greet, but that just seems very unrealistic, having given no notice to any of your followers. I would be shocked if 10 people showed up because of the lack of planning and notice that she gave her community. So anyway, doing a meet and greet would be really cool though. I'm not at a size that I could ever actually do that, but <laughs> if any of you are ever in Boise, Idaho and you see a random colorful bitch on the street, tell Aleka, hey, what's up? Hopefully it works out good for them though. Bye YouTube, subscribe. Before you go, kitty kiss. Bye, love you. Okay. Good job, bitch. We're laughing and joking, but on the inside, I'm really nervous about this trip. Well, yeah, like humor joking is a good way to deal with our feelings. Deal with meeting. feelings. Better than eating. Tonight's gonna be a long I night. I will take humor over eating. Stuff. And I'm nervous about the medical appointments. We've been seeing medical people all our lives. You make yeah, them a boy house arrive. Well, yeah. <laughs> we both really nervous about me and Dr. Belcher. I've had doctors turn me down because I was too big. And you still are too big for surgery. I just need to lose weight and walk away. I'm scared that Dr. Proctor might say the same thing. He could. I'm very worried that he might not approve me for surgery. He won't approve you at the okay, weight you are right good. now, but if you prove to him that you can lose weight and that you have determination and willpower, then they'll do surgery because the surgery isn't a magic bullet, right? It's not going to instantly make you skinny We're and thin. For tomorrow. So tonight, we decided to eat some country buffet. That is a terrible idea. One last supper. No, no, literally not. Also, very classy burp right there. Ugh. The fact that they're you know doing a buffet the before they go. Buffet? What? All you can eat? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, okay, all you chicken, can eat for obese people would be potatoes, the best deal possible. Salad, pasta salad, lasagna. We had some rolls. Yum. How many plates of food are they getting for one person? This looks good. Okay, so it was between the three of them, but it just One looked like Ooh, Jesus. Giving up fried food. Fried food always seems to fall in my mouth. That's because it's delicious. It's fried for a reason. It's a lot of soda. Plate number two. What I'm gonna miss most is like the fried chicken. I loved oh, it. Man. I had to get like three more of those. And there's just another plate. There's not a fourth person with them. Who's that fourth plate for? Yeah, with you. <laughs> She's always dropping food down, I'm sure. <laughs> fucking relatable, though. I'm excited. It's like our second honeymoon. We get in our own hotel room. I don't want to hear the gorillas. I want to be three doors down. <laughs> you might still hear it. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> so she's loud in bed. Good to know. I want some ham. Can you get me some ham? And pasta. What kind of pasta? If you want that, that, why don't you go up? Or a little toilet Both. And go walk and get it yourself? Instead of having somebody get the food for when you. When I'm out in public, I feel so insecure. I feel like everybody's watching me. Everybody's judging me. Well, everybody's me, gonna look at you. Pointing at me, laughing at me. You're on your fourth plate of food and are morbidly obese Can in public. Of course they're going to look at you. That, the kid just knows he's on camera. <laughs> that fucking child. Hold on, let's go back real quick. That one. <laughs> he's like, oh, look, it's a cameraman. I'm on TV. Like, that, that's just cute. That's not him judging the food that Tammy's eating. That's just him being like, ah, it's a camera head. Let me be silly. That's just kids being kids. I do understand that from a perspective of being obese, you are going to get looked at, especially when you're in a place that is for food, like a restaurant, etc. People are going to watch and they're going to judge how much you're eating because the thing that makes you obese is that you eat too much and you move too little, right? The fact that she's not getting up to get her own plate, she's having Amy get plates for her, that's going to make people judge you. The fact that she is on like her third or fourth plate of food already, that's going to make people judge you. One plate of food is more than enough. Buffets are great for fat people. It gives you unlimited access to your drug of choice, which is food, fried foods, unhealthy foods, specifically foods that taste good but aren't good for you. Buffets, I'm hoping, are something they're going to vehemently avoid when they do go to Atlanta. I understand they're trying to do this last hurrah, and I really don't agree with that. Uh, the fact that they're wanting to get weight loss surgery, it doesn't mean that they can't ever have 
yummy, delicious, good food again. That's the thing that they clearly don't understand and definitely need education on. And that a lot of obese people and people who are fat and overweight probably don't get either is you're not going on a diet to lose weight. You need to make a long-term lifestyle change to lose weight and maintain your weight to be healthy for the rest of your life, right? You don't want to be on a diet eating only salads and water. You're gonna wanna have all these yummy, amazing things, but you're guilting yourself into doing it and you're developing a very unhealthy relationship with food. You should not restrict yourself from foods just because you're losing weight and going on a diet doesn't work. That's why people yo-yo from them so much, right? I have lost, personally, at my biggest, I was at 220 pounds when I started to lose weight and I'm 5'9 or 175 centimeters for metric people. I am now at 189 pounds. So I've lost 31 pounds in about three months. The biggest thing that has helped me with that, in addition to having a very physical job that I do for my day job of slinging tires, that's helped significantly. But the biggest thing is my calorie intake. I was starting to count my calories. So I was aware of what I was putting into my body, then how many calories a deficit I was burning with my like Fitbit tracker, right? You don't have to have a Fitbit, it could be whatever kind of calorie tracker that just gives you a general idea of how many calories you are exporting a day and how many calories you are importing into your body a day. So you can be at a healthy deficit to lose weight. Being aware of that doesn't mean, oh, I can never have chicken nuggets again. Let's pretend you have a 1500 calorie diet for your day. That's your goal is 1500 calories. If having six chicken nuggets fits in, that's like what, 450, 500 calories. And then you have a thousand other calories that you can make healthy choices with, like having low calorie lemonade, having water, having a salad for lunch, stuff like that. You know, you, you can incorporate these things that you enjoy and you don't have to completely eliminate them from your life because your life shouldn't be an unhappy one where you're always having to make shitty choices about things that bring you joy, like food. But you don't have to have an overabundant relationship with food either, which is how a lot of people get to these heavy weights. I know that's how I got to my weight was moving very, very, very little and eating way too much and way too much of very high calorie unhealthy foods. That's just my little aside for the day for shenanigans. Let's watch the, the child with the tongue. Well, they went at dinner time. So of course they're going to have a lot of people there. Is this a dick measuring contest of who's having the most negative attention? What 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 conversation is this? Why are they having this conversation? But I'm having the same problem. Amy is able to relate. Yes, she's not as big as you are, but she has the same problems as you do. Seriously, she has no idea. I get you more than you think I do. Why you doing it? Jesus Christ. Um, a little worried that she won't end up finishing the journey because she gets mad. Throws a little yeah, it throws tantrums and gets mad. But that was that was very much a dick measuring contest of, oh, I'm so fat, I get looked at and people judge me more than you. It's like, bitch, I'm also extremely fat. I am 400 pounds. No, I'm not 600 pounds, but I still get looked at and judged because I'm 400 fucking pounds eating way more than I should be because I don't understand yet what proper portion sizes are and how to have a healthy relationship with food. I haven't been given those tools yet, but once I learn them and then practice them, it'll be better, right? But right now, of course, people are going to be watching and judging her just as much as f***ing Tammy. Like, it's like, oh no, my, my pain is worse than yours. It's like when people are like, oh, I'm more depressed than you are. Oh, you can't be as depressed as me. Your depression is valid because it's not the same pain and misery I'm feeling. It's like, nobody gives a shit. Stop trying to measure your dicks with how bad your depression is. Same with this. Stop trying to have a dick measuring contest of who gets the most negative attention. It's, it's, it's stupid. It's a stupid f***ing conversation. The fact they even had that conversation is stupid in and of itself. Well, he said, and if I say something to her, this trip might not even happen. So... And the fact Amy I has to walk to on eggshells around Tammy is not a healthy dynamic in their relationship. Literally even a little bit. The fact that Tammy is so emotionally unstable that she's always going off on Amy and Amy can't say what she needs to. They don't they do not have a good relationship. They they need to work on their relationship in therapy, and Tammy specifically needs individual therapy hella. Amy does too. But Tammy really needs a high level of emotional learning. We're gonna see Smoky Mountains. Smoky Mountains! But 
I'm scared Tammy's not up for this trip. Tammy has a bad history with blood clots. That's also why she has to get up and move around. You can't do eight hours, eight hours straight. It's kind of risky. It is. But we have to do it. That's why you should make stops every couple of hours, two or three hours, to have her get up, walk around the car, then get back in the car. She doesn't have to go, like, on a huge trek. She just can just walk around the van and then get back in the van again. Just to help prevent blood clots from clogging up. Because if they go the entire eight hours, that is really dangerous. A blood clot can go when you're that big. It can form if you're super sedentary for that huge amount of time. And then when you get up and move, it can go into your lungs and kill you. Tammy has just got to the van and she's already out of breath, exhausted. She looks bad. She does look bad. What's going on? Is it your nerves or... No, she has a little inflatable mattress, so it's a little more, a little more comfy for her. I'm worried about Tammy, but this is her last chance. This is her last chance. I wonder if when she loses weight, her forehead's gonna get better. I think that the only thing gonna save Tammy now is to have the surgery. That's true. Because I know that Tammy don't make it to Atlanta. That's pretty much the end. That is the end. If she really does need this weight loss surgery, or she will die. But we found out last episode that her forehead, she was What's born that on? way. It's a congenital condition. Um, but I wonder if it's worse because of her weight and if it will go down. It probably won't ever go away because I'm she was really born with it. But I wonder if it will reduce in size once she clothes. loses more weight. And Only time will tell. To Atlanta. So, sitting in the car that long could be really bad for her. If she throws a blood clot on the way to Atlanta, Tammy could die. Yeah, it's very, very dangerous. I'm sorry. You gotta make sure every couple hours you're moving around the van. Yeah, I'm feeling a little nauseous myself. We had a big dinner at the buffet last night. I'm beginning to think that was a bad idea. Yes, yes it is. Are you ready to do this? I guess. I guess. It's probably very Close the door and start the drive. Faster, but it's even more dangerous if I don't go. Correct. This is one of the first times that I've been out of the house, not in a medical van, in six or seven years. Which is a big deal. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Hopefully this is um so relieved that something Tammy's that makes to Tammy feel a little more independent Road too. Trip, <laughs> Road trip. Can't wait. Because if she hasn't been out of the house in a life. normal van, I'm not in an ambulance. Baby. I'm ready just to be happy. <laughs> for six or seven years. Then this could be a really big thing for her to be First like, hey did, crack open the snacks. I was able to Go all the way to Atlanta, and I was okay. I, I managed. I can do so this. It, it will be something that hopefully encourages cakes, her rather than pops, takes away from bars, her. Cookies. The only downfall is I can't reach my hand in the bag. <laughs> you can't do that. You, know? you can't reach your hand now in the bag. You got a problem. Healthy, I tried to get like beef jerky, trail mix. Beef jerky, trail mix. Trail mix is yummy. Nuts are great. Beef jerky is yummy, but expensive as shit. <laughs> can like. $16 for a bag of Arberto or whatever the fuck. Yeah, for a bag of beef jerky. Beef so jerky is delicious, but fucking well, expensive. That's why I don't eat any. Otherwise, I'd be eating beef jerky all the time. Any beef jerky companies want to sponsor a random colorful bitch online? Hit bag. me up. Hit me up. Why are they stopping for food and then choosing unhealthy options? While they're on their I'll give you a horny Damn. Jesus. <laughs> and she's asleep. She's like, why are we almost dead? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm awake now. I wonder how we didn't see that semi truck. He probably wasn't looking in his mirrors. No. Why are you getting drive through food? You have road trip snacks. You were just eating. That's like, I get it. They're, they're they're laughing it off and they're, they're being funny about it. But it's kind of like what I was saying last episode as well. If you're always going to put off your your diet or you're always going to put off your, your exercise or you're going to put off literally any change you want to make in your life till Monday, next Monday, next week, tomorrow, uh, later, 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 sometime in the future, it's never going to fucking happen. Or you are never going to actually commit to it. Because if you don't have the dedication and willpower to start right fucking now, and I mean literally right now.
to do it, then you will not succeed. The fact that they're like, oh, we can, we're going to get weight loss surgery in Atlanta with Dr. Proctor, but on our way, we're going to have fast food. We're gonna stop at a restaurant, pick really unhealthy foods and eat there. We'll only start eating okay once we're in Georgia. That doesn't make a difference. That doesn't, that just shows the level of delusion that Amy and Tammy are living in right now, and Michael too, of course, but it's about Amy and Tammy. But the fact that they're so Delulu that they cannot fathom, hmm, maybe I should start making better life choices and changes for myself literally right now, not just when a doctor tells me you're gonna fucking die, you're too fat, we need to make a change, or you will not survive is wild, is wild. They know they have a problem. They know that they could die because of how big they are. They know that weight loss surgery is one of the only things, if not the only thing, especially for Tammy, that can save her life right now. And they're still choosing to make these decisions. The level of delusion is, is wild. I really hope they get a big fat fucking reality check from Dr. Proctor. Longest trip I've ever been on. And next time we need a TV or something. I mean, that you got your phone. Your phone is a portable TV. You're fine. I look back. I do like that they stopped at a restaurant, though. Not for the food, but I mean, so that she could get up and, like, walk. I'm sorry. I'm trying. Oh, She's probably in a lot of pain. I was able to have it at some point of this trip. Oh, like, really? We're about an hour away from Atlanta. She can make it an hour. She's in pain, but she'll make it. Doesn't matter if you stop the car and let her get out. She's still going to be in pain when she gets back into this position again. She's just going to have to right. deal with it, unfortunately. You're doing good. You're doing good. They're an hour You're away. This far. She's made it seven hours in. They can't turn around and go back. They're past the point of no return. So she's just going to have to, unfortunately, deal with it. We might be able to put that bed down. <laughs> can whack her face with the seatbelt. I'll try to put it back in the back. Why are you in pain now? Her legs? Yeah. That's not good, because that could mean she has a blood clot forming. The pain in my knee. Oh, it's in her a knee. Lot in place. It hurts so bad. And I had to try to reposition myself. Ooh. Can you actually sit this right behind you on the seat? So I can get room back in. So we moved stuff around. There you go. Yeah, so she can, lay, she can down. lay down. So if it's her knee, down. not her yeah. leg. Like, I thought I was thinking blood clot. I know it didn't look too comfortable, but laying in the floor of the van was a lot better. Good. Okay. If that makes her more comfortable and less oh, my head. <laughs> in pain, <laughs> other than Michael driving over bumps, um, it should be okay. <gasps> the meet and greet! I'm hoping a lot of people show up to the meet and greet because I don't have any friends sisters. in real life. What if this is it? Like, no That's actually a really sad statement. I don't have friends in real life. You guys ready oh. to come back? Yes, ma'am. Right. Do they not have online friends? Online friends are valid as friends, too. Just because you don't have them living with you IRL doesn't Welcome mean that online Georgia. friendships aren't valid. But you still have to have a friendship, not just somebody that you talk to, to followers. Amy Elizabeth! <laughs> What's it mean? Oh, they're just farting it up. Classy. <laughs> Classy people. Ain't that right, Pocky? Pocky is the name. Playful mood. I have four cats, Five by the way. It's completely random, but I do. A poop time for bed. Oh, there's a hotel. Them hotels. Those hoes be telling y'all. Those hoes be telling y'all. I love that. I gotta use that in the future. But she made it. Them hoes be telling. That's actually adorable. Wait until we turn green. Maybe they've never been in a hotel before. Where's my new beagle thing? It's like it's locked on the inside. Pull up. And then yes. Okay. <laughs> I thought the hotel standard was hotel. I never stayed in something that fancy. I'm so excited I even showed my fans on social media. There's the TV and the couch. Super big bed and the bathtub. So beautiful. The bathtub is really nice. It's so overwhelming being here. But it's super exciting, too. Um, okay. I understand that she was excited and, and made a little, like, hotel room tour YouTube video. That's not a very fancy hotel. That is very basic Hotel 6. <laughs> Motel 6, Hampton Inn. You know, name your very basic common hotel chain here. That is, that is just a, a normal 
hotel room. They're not staying at a fancy resort. They're not staying at a luxury getaway destination. <laughs> They're just at a normal hotel room. That does show something very interesting psychologically, that she sees a normal hotel room like that as something very high class, shows how poor she grew up and how much she values it. Because if she liked it so much that she's not only giving it praise on TV, but she also went out of her way to record a room tour and post it to her following online, that shows that she was really, really excited about it. So that just shows that she really hasn't had a lot of very good experiences with travel, with environment in general. Something that's just average, like that hotel room, would seem in comparison to the bar being literally in the dirt. Very, very good, right? <laughs> it makes me wonder if her bar is that low, where she would place a hotel in Dubai. <laughs> Or in a very fancy hotel in, in, in Japan or something like that. that. That would be very interesting to see. It's been, one. it's been a long time since I lived on my own. So having this room to myself is going to feel like heaven. Good. Good for her. Hopefully, again, this At is a time, I'm really nervous. positive Tomorrow, thing. We going to meet Dr. Proctor. Where she's like, hey, I'm actually independent. I can do this. I can take life. care of myself. I and have a future. My independence. I'm worth this. I can take back but my independence. I'm scared that Dr. Proctor might say I'm too big and then just walk away. Now I've done all this for nothing. He won't give you the uh, surgery. Okay. Bye. But he will if you prove yourself like through weight loss. a long period of time by herself. Because I feel if I'm not there, she could fall. And nobody's there to call the ambulance. Sure. So we decided to put a baby monitor in there Aww. so I can make sure she's okay and have peace of mind myself. Yeah, with their double sleep apnea machines, it's actually kind of cute. Monitor. Honestly, I know she's safe. She right? Yeah, she's asleep. There you go. That's actually a really good idea because Amy makes a very valid point. If she stops breathing or something happens, Tammy is not independent right now, and Dr. will Dr. not be for a long time until she loses a significant under. amount of weight. So Amy has to do these things in order to make sure that she's safe and taken Being care of. That just shows just how much surreal, Amy really like, does love and care for her actually sister. Happening. We're actually doing this. You're doing it! I'm so nervous. Hi! Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. You guys ready to come back? Yes, yes ma'am. Right. They can do it, I believe. Do that a lot, right? <laughs> they talk in <laughs> unison. Finish each other's sandwiches. Or sandwiches. <laughs> I mean, they probably finish each other's sandwiches too. Although I doubt any would leave a sandwich unfinished. But here we are. Things that Doctor Proctor might say. But if Doctor Proctor turns me down, I don't know what I'm gonna do next. All right, ladies, I'm ready to weigh. Who wants to go first? Let me go first. Choose off or. Your choice. Okay. <laughs> the shoes aren't going to make a significant difference. When I was at the junkyard, the scale said I weighed 406. I'm hoping this time I weigh less. 400. You still eating like shit. Yep. All right, that's 400.2. Six pound I've always loss. I've a skinny sister, so seeing that 400 pounds, I don't know what went wrong. You're eating like oh, absolute yes. dog shit. It's still down. Last time I weighed myself on the junkyard scale, but it's not as good high. as it could be. But honestly, I don't think that scale was right. No, the scale was right. You're just fat. And this is just going to reiterate that for you. 608. She's actually heavier. She gained weight. 8.2. I guess the junkyard scale was right. Plus, I gained three pounds. Yep. She gained weight. Again, because Ooh, she's eating hey. like shit. How are you guys doing? Good I'm actually you. surprised Tammy that and Amy, right? hey, yes, hey, I'm Dr. Proctor. Amy lost nice right to the any weight, to be yeah. honest. Dr. Proctor walked in. Well, my first person of him was he had cold hands. <laughs> So tell me about your life now. Did you guys work? I mean, social yeah, media. Social media. Influencers. Okay. Influencers. So you media Jesus stuff. Christ. So you're, you're at home a lot? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You get out of the house much? It's called influencers. No. I have no clue. And you're a YouTuber. I feel like bones are grinding. Okay. What kind of other medical issues do you have? I Jimmy, my YouTuber bladder. is a type of shit. influencer. I like bad bones. Gout. Okay. Whole bucket list. <laughs> Amy, what about you? What kind of medical issues do you have? Uh, I got asthma. I got uh, thyroid. I got. Diabetes. Yeah. 
I want to have a baby, and I think my weight is affecting me not to have a baby. So it definitely is. You want to have a baby? Then I just like want to be healthy, not like her. Tell you the truth. I ain't gonna lie to you. What's like, wrong with me? Uh, you're fat as. What do you mean? You What's wrong with me? There's a little bit of tension that was raised when the sisters began arguing about which one of them was the most unhealthy, which is kind of an unusual argument to have. The reality is they're both really unhealthy, and they both really need to have weight loss surgery. Agreed. Um, we just listed off a whole list of medical problems for both of you, and most of those medical problems are caused. Yes, most medical problems are, are caused because they're fat, and I agree. I'm glad that Dr. Proctor noticed what I noticed earlier in the video, is that they have this weird dick measuring contest of, Oh, no, I'm the most unhealthy. No, bitch, I'm the most unhealthy. No, bitch, you don't get as much negative attention as me. It's like, shut the f*** up. Nobody cares. The fact that you're trying to say that you are somehow better than your sister because you have more negative attention because you are more unhealthy is so f***ed up. They absolutely not only need to work on their relationship with each other, but they both need individual therapy. They probably both need couple therapy, but rather than it for being a relationship, it for just being a family more healthy sister relationship that they have with each other. Obviously, they need a ton of education on food and nutrition and exercise because they don't know how to be healthy, happy, functioning adults. So there's a lot wrong with Amy and Tammy besides their medical issues and weight that I hope get addressed throughout the series. I know this is only episode two of season one and there's like five seasons and it's still ongoing. So I'm hoping that over the time we see some very, very good character development for them caused by by being overweight and i don't think i have to tell you that if you guys don't lose the weight and a lot of weight you will die you're not gonna live very long yes you will die we've got a long way to go with both of you guys i'm gonna do everything i possibly can to make you guys healthier but i need some buy-in from you guys yep i need to understand that you guys are all in and you're gonna make the same kind of commitment okay so i'm gonna see some weight loss from both of you by the time you come back Good. Amy, I need to see you lose 25 pounds before I can approve your surgery. Okay. Tammy, your weight right now is at 608. But I want to see you around 550. All right, that's a tall order. Wow, 58 pounds. I gave Tammy a much higher weight loss Holy goal shit. because Tammy weighs about twice what Amy does. Yeah. At her weight, she should be able to drop weight fairly quickly. But if she's not really committed to this lifestyle change, she's going to be a really risky candidate for surgery. Oh, 100%. So before you go back to Kentucky, I want you to meet with a dietitian. Both of you are going to have to completely change what and how you've been eating. Good! Then they need the education. They start eating a little time in the morning. Well, I made sure that we get home, we're gonna buy groceries. Shut up. That's home. Like, I mean, since I've been living with you. Going through this with a family member can always be a double-edged sword. I'm a little nervous right now, given their interaction they had in the office today. Yeah. But my hope is they're gonna work things out and they're gonna find a way to support each other going forward. Ah! You can exercise. The best thing for you guys, if you have access to a pool, is to go swimming because that's going to get that extra weight off your knees and your hips and your back and so forth. Yes. That's probably the best thing for you. Absolutely. You Water back exercise back for obese people, amazing, because just like you said, it takes the pressure off your joints. Oh, life-changing. I want you to know that. All right. I have Bye, a guys. pool at my Bye. apartment complex. I love going swimming. I don't put my hair or my head in the water because <laughs> I don't pay for this color to get fucked up with chlorine. Dr. Proctor told us we had to lose some weight before he can approve us. But it is really nice I'm gonna to do just everything in my power to do what he suggests. Pee and swim and float I'll in water. If I don't it's get the surgery, there's very, good very nice. I'll never become a mother, and it breaks my heart because I really do try to take care of everybody, and I just want this one thing for myself. Amy is very motherly, and it's not selfish to want to be healthier so you can take better care of the people in your lives. It's not selfish to want to have a healthy, happy life. Shots? It just yeah. means you okay. want to be healthy and happy. With all our old subscribers on social media. I'm so excited! Jesus! You <laughs> got <laughs> Amy. See you in Dr. Proctor. I was super stressful. So it'd be great to get a lot oh, of cute. and support. Aww, and they did a little autographs on their selfies. Yeah. Their it's Snapchat filtered around. selfies. Snapchat filter to all hell and back. You got a big stack of them too. Jesus we Christ. At at three but Why did they only I'm partially curious. color in the welcome sign? You guys see that? They did the heart. They did the purple heart down here and the blue heart over here. And they just did one side of the W with in purple. And then they did one part of the L in blue. And then said, fuck the rest of it. We're not going to color in the rest of the welcome. But then they did go whole ass on the Slayton sisters one over here. So they probably got tired of coloring it in and only then went half-ass on the welcome sign. Oh my God. This one, 
half ass. This one, whole ass. Is what anyone gonna show up? Nobody showed up. That would actually be really embarrassing. Is there a line out there? Probably not. I don't see anybody. You're at a random hotel. Did anybody not show up? Oh, that would be so embarrassing. I'm hoping a lot of people show up to the meet and greet. I would be Ooh, embarrassed if I organized a meet and greet and that happened. I don't have any friends in real life. No. Just online. But online friends are valid. Ugh. I don't think anybody's coming. As long as you have an actual friendship with them, you're talking with them every day, you're DMing with them every day, you're video chatting, voice chatting with them, you're having a real friendship, not just talking to someone in the comments and saying that's a friend, you know? And then Michael, when you fill up out, so I need you guys to do this together. Aww! Thank you so much. I feel so relieved to actually see somebody that cared about us enough to come. She even made them and painted them a picture! Y'all drive crazy down here. Yeah, no, I was thinking the same thing on the way over here. I was like, maybe I'll just move to Kentucky with them. Uh, we've been fans of the Slate Sisters for probably about a year and a half now. Jimmy. Oh, jeez. This is like a dream come true. <laughs> Thank you. I like how funny they are. Like, they're very... I like their sense of humor. Bottom of the... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Thank you guys so Thank much. Thank you for coming. Me and them in person was more than we expected it to be. We were so excited to meet them, so we're going away. Happy campers. Aw, cute. Hello. Okay, well, that's two people. Meeting a fan in person was like... Two more? Meeting a friend that you never knew you had. Aww. I like your makeup tutorial videos, so I don't know how to do makeup, so <laughs> I don't either. Today I did this makeup look inspired by these beautiful boys. It's very weird meeting that, people that was know something. You from online. That it's look was definitely they know something. So much about you, but you don't know anything about them. Well, yeah, that's what <laughs> fans are. You tell them about yeah, your lives and. Super fan. Her name is Kathy. Aww, Kathy. And she was awesome. She was like family from another family. I love your cooking videos. Love, love, love them. The Chubby Bunny Challenge. That one had me rolling. Chubby Bunny. Oh, Jesus <sighs> Christ. But the Chubby Bunny Challenge, that is a very unsafe and unhealthy way. You could literally choke and die. The Chubby Bunny Challenge should never be attempted or done because you can kill yourself doing it. it. No challenge is worth killing yourself to do. The fact that they've gotten a lot of attention from that is kind of unfortunate. Anyway, what I was saying was that fans, yes, they know a lot about you because you share yourself online, you're, you're you know, doing your thing and they know a lot about you, but you don't know about them unless they choose to share in the comments. And that's why comment sections, especially for YouTubers, are so important because it provides a way for you to have a dialogue with people and actually build a deeper connection with them. Maybe some of them will become your friends. Maybe you guys will talk in Discord and you guys can develop a friendship that you never would have had otherwise. YouTube, but you have really long conversations going back and forth, that's still really valid. That's still amazing. Maybe they comment on every one of your videos because they watch it from beginning to end and they want to let you know what they thought and they give you suggestions and there's a running dialogue back and forth. That's still a, a connection, right? More than just somebody watching and they show up and they've never commented on any of your videos before. That would be an interesting dynamic because you've literally never had an interaction with that person before. That would actually be very unique because then you'd be like, oh, I've never met you. I've never had an interaction with you. Hi, ho, hey, hey, hey what's up, right? Like, it seems Kathy being a, a super fan is probably someone who has posted many comments on their YouTube videos before and maybe even still does now if they still do YouTube, which is really cool. So I love that for them. I'm glad that they did have people show up. I was worried that no one was going to come and be here and it was gonna be a huge failure. I mean, they are having a few people show up. There's been like six or eight people so far that have shown up, but it's not the 100 to 200 that Amy wanted, which was completely unrealistic since they didn't give a date, time, or location in the video. And they did it last minute with no time for anybody to prep for it. The more notice you can give people, the better, right? If I ever got to 100,000 subscribers, which by the way, if you guys are enjoying the content and have made it to this point in the video, then go ahead and subscribe because I post to my channel here regularly, weekly. I post two videos weekly right now. We may up it to three depending on how popular this channel gets. And every single one of you guys helps. My goal is to hit 5,000 subscribers by four the end of 2024 so i would love to see you guys help us reach that goal but for now we're sitting pretty at a little over 4700 subscribers right now so i'm hoping we can get about 250 275 more people for that 5000 goal but if i were to ever hit 100,000 uh, yeah i'd probably do something similar where i would organize like a meet and greet in boise where i live here in idaho but it, i would just have to gauge interest because if there's people that are from all over the states and all over the world that enjoy my content and they can't come to Boise for whatever reason, then 
it may not be worth it to do it, right? Because if your fans, and you have to understand your demographic and your community and your audience, if your community is so widespread that there's not enough of them to make having a meet and greet in one location worth it, you've put in a lot of wasted effort that could have just gone to making more videos and continuing to interact and talk with people in the comments. I believe it's been a bit over four years that I've been watching them. Wow. When I watched the first video, I was hooked and I've been here ever since. Four years well, she's been their supporter. Cool. That's amazing. I, I have some amazing people in my before? community uh, no, I, well, no, I have seen who have been uh, with me I'm since I started YouTube in 2018. <laughs> Seriously, it's Mother's Day, and I told my family this is what I wanted to Aww. do for Mother's Day, and anyone who wanted to come with me was welcome to come, but this is where I was going to be. Oh, Thank you so much. Yeah. We're like the rocket. That's right. <laughs> Get all the selfies. Sisters, I do worry about their weight constantly. I'm so afraid that something's going to happen to one of them. I really hope that they can find help and get their weight under control. Good. Kathy cares oh, about them and wants them to be happy and healthy. We love to see so a supportive for a supportive community Staying member. From one fan like that made it all worthwhile. Hello, right? Aw. Oh, titty. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Coming I from love the that. Home, just don't really show emotion to hear. Oh, we love you. We're your number one fan. That's just really encouraging to us. Good. Hopefully that makes them want to lose the weight. And this is like awesome. a push that they awesome. needed. <laughs> to lose their weight so that they can be successful in their weight loss. Hi, Man, how many were 100,000 subscribers? That's wild. One day, one day, one day we'll be that cool. Okay. We're back at Dr. Oh, Parker I love her, like, blouse kimono. Real, Ooh, beautiful. On how to do this. Amy and Tammy? Very yeah. light and airy. Just we'll head on back, all right? I'm a little worried about meeting with a dietitian. When you're used to the grease and the salt, healthy food is scary. My name's Taylor, I'm the dietitian here. Today's your first nutrition visit. Um, how are you feeling? Healthy it's food doesn't mean it has to be bland. That's the thing, <laughs> so seasonings do So the first thing I do, do want to talk about with you is what kind of things do you guys like to eat? Baked chicken, baked pork chops, grilled beef, mashed potatoes, tacos, sir, and spaghetti, sloppy joe mix, yeah. pasta, the little bitty weenie thingies, granola. Okay, she gets it. I love graham crackers. She she gets it. Okay, Processed so food. Barbecue sauce. Mashed potatoes and macaroni and cheese. Chinese food. She, Sometimes I'll eat like a snack cake or cotton candy. She gets I'll it. I'll get a pizza roll from the gas station. Or I'll have some chips for a stick. Or she gets it. And then sometimes we get spam. And, and we bake it. <laughs> okay. What I'm hearing is too okay. many calories, too many carbs, too much fat. Just too much food overall. Yes. And so we are going to have a lot of work to do. Yes. Do you drink water? No. no water at all? Okay. Yeah, that right. needs and to what change. what are you drinking during the day? Sodies. 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 Sody pops. Okay. <laughs> and how much do you think you drink a day? 18 Eight cans. A day. Eight, 12 cans? Mm-hmm. Okay. And it's regular soda? No, it's diet. It's diet. Okay. Our mom told us Doesn't make it better. Younger, Just because diet doesn't mean but you better. You drink a diet coke afterwards and it'll cancel out the sugar. Literally not okay. how that works. Um, do you believe that to be true? No. I did when I was a kid. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. <laughs> No one should be drinking eight to ten sodas a day. No. Just because it's a liquid doesn't mean it's hydrating you or good for you. There's a lot of other substances in those diet sodas that do dehydrate you and absolutely contribute to a poor overall diet and health. Yep. We're just going to maybe make a deal to wean it out. Does that sound fair? All right. So you can have one can a day. No. One can. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. La, 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 la. So with veggies, there's some starchy vegetables and some non-starchy vegetables. Um, so yeah, green peas, corn, and potatoes are the really the starchy ones. So you just want to, if you're going to have those, it'll count as your starch serving. Okay. Same um, with beans. Same with beans. Exactly. Yeah. Oh my God, no. Sometimes, yeah. I mean, Jesus Christ. Can you I not do this? Knew. I tried telling Amy over and over, you have to In eat front of three other or four people. times a day, small portion. I wish you would listen to me. I've been right everything she said. The fact that Amy's always doing jabs at Tammy the the corn, the and then Tammy just blows you up on Amy. Right like they they sleep. have a really like, shitty relationship with each other. Healthy. She wouldn't be that big. It's true. I wouldn't take advice from a fat person if they told me how to eat. You guys are in this together. You know, you have to be each other's cheerleader. Your workout buddies, your diet buddies, your you know, lifelong buddies with the whole surgery process, right? The dietitian says we gotta be each other's cheerleaders. Yes, you do. But it can be hard dealing with Tammy sometimes. And we both get grumpy if we don't eat. Losing weight isn't about starving yourself, it's about making be better choices. I don't want to be relying on that cane 24 days, I'm trying. Oh, oh shit. Amy knows exactly how to push my button. Oh no. Have you even tried without it? What the f do you think I'm doing? Oh, we about to see some shit go soda. down? Jesus Christ. I want a Zodi. What are you getting for lunch? How many times did I tell y'all this? What? Real chicken nuggets. Okay, what else? That's not gonna fill you up. And a side salad. 
Damn. Okay. This is the first meal after we met with the dietitian. I want to get things right. We stopped in at the fast food place and we got grilled chicken nuggets. We got a super green salad and a fruit cook. Those are I much like better boss, food man. choices from the Wendy's than a burger and fries. One soda a day. So that is I'm a step. Make it an extra large soda. That is not. So what do you want to do? I don't know. Souvenirs. I don't think I need to explain. I've never been to Atlanta before, and I wanted to get some souvenirs for my family. That's fine. You so can get you some mean? souvenirs for your family, but I don't think I need to explain why that logic is so fucking dumb. <laughs> when the dietitian tells you one can a day, she's saying one normal can of soda a day, aka 12 fluid ounces or 16 fluid ounces, whatever your normal can of soda is a day. She's not saying a 32 fucking ounce or 64 ounce thirst quake of goddamn soda is your one soda of the day because that's really the equivalent of three to six sodas. Which Amy completely missed the point. And I'm sure Tammy did the exact same thing. So they've, they've missed the mark on that one. But I do have to give them credit. They went to a fast food place and instead of getting the unhealthy options that were there, they chose the healthier choices that were available to them, which was fruit cup, salad, and grilled chicken rather than fried chicken nuggets. So I am really glad that they've made those choices. Soda, not good, but those, very good. Think of these changes. I think we're gonna get bored of it for a little while, but I mean, we can't give up. Can't give up, mama. Exactly. Gotta keep going. Gotta keep going. The dietitian suggested a whole different meal plan and a lot of this stuff. I told Amy and she didn't believe me. I think I was lying to you, but I was actually telling you the truth about eating three small meals a day and a snack and the Gatorade. Yep. Why didn't you skinny? Exactly. What? Right. Why aren't you skinny then if you know how to eat all that? I was losing weight and you, every time I went to your house, I asked if I could eat something you got mad at. It's That's not Amy's you fault dance, you're so. over 600 pounds, Tammy. I just don't want you to it's be your own fucking fault. Four days, so not I'm you walk. trying. If you're out of balance, then you can't do nothing about it. I'm gonna lose my Amy knows exactly. That walker seems like a Have trigger. You tried without it? What the f do you think I'm doing? Oh, it is oh, a trigger. I'll see you I don't a lot even of use it in the room. Damn. But I do have to hold on the door. What has Tammy been talking about? She ain't been trying. She ain't gonna go anywhere without her walker. She don't even wanna try. Wow. I think that's it. Jesus Christ. Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, though. Pammy makes a very good point. If you are off balance and you cannot walk without the assistance of a mobility device like a walker or a cane, then you can't walk without that mobility device. It's just the way it is. That doesn't mean she's always going to have to use her walker because if she loses weight, she'll have better balance and she'll be able to walk confidently on her own without the need for mobility assistant, right? If she's not at that point yet, then she does need it to get around. And if she needs it to walk and move more versus completely taking that away from her, which is what Amy seems to want to do and forcing her to just try and do it without it, she's gonna not move nearly as much as she could have because she could have gotten further with the walker than she could without it and make steps towards losing weight in addition to the diet, getting more exercise in, moving more, eating less, eating better, making these changes to get to a point that she then doesn't need it. So the fact Amy is so hell bent on Tammy not walking with the walker, I understand she wants to see her be independent. She wants to see her sister happy. You can't force somebody to be ready when they're not ready yet. Tammy's clearly not at a point that she's ready yet to walk without a walker. It's a point of contention for her, very clearly. That's why she blew up over it. Now, I do have to say, Tammy is not the f***ing angel here either. She's like, oh, I do eat well, but every time I go over to your house, you tell me, blah, 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 blah. Like, no, shut the f*** up. You're obviously eating shit on your own time, in your own house, doing your own thing. You're doing shit yourself. Like, you are the one that is feeding yourself these calories. Yes, maybe Amy is bringing it to you, but you're choosing to then put it into your f***ing mouth. Just because you have this information and you're like, oh, I was right the whole time about eating small meals. Of course Amy's not gonna f***ing listen to you because you're way fatter than she is and you're clearly not taking your own advice. You can give great advice, but if you don't follow your own great advice, you're not leading by example and nobody's gonna take you seriously. If you don't lead by example and you don't practice what you preach, nobody's gonna think you're legitimate. Bye. 
I don't mind leaving her in the car to cool off. Sometimes I just want to wring her damn neck. I bet. I bet she wants to do the fucking same to you, too. You guys don't have the greatest dynamic. You're stupid. I bet I you're sick of it. A lot on Amy and Michael is very frustrating. I bet. I feel like I have no control of my own life. I'm fed up. Like, I don't know how much longer I can be there with them. Be around them. But unfortunately... What am I supposed to go do? Go in there and fix a freaking can of beans for a snack? What? But you can't live on your own because you're too fat to be independent. Why don't my family love me more? Is it because I'm big? That's very clearly... I can't understand what I go through. Something she needs to go to therapy for. I understand. They want me to do more for myself and I know I should be. I'm doing my best. You're not, though. I'm human! What, what the f You are human. But you also have to take responsibility for your own actions, and you need to own up to your I mistakes. One thousand pound sisters. Oh, we have to throw out all the stuff and that's the can. end of the episode. But yeah, you need to be able to own up to your own mistakes and take responsibility for yourself. So yes, you are human. Yes, you are allowed to make mistakes. Yes, you are allowed to have setbacks. Also, as equally important to say, okay, I fucked up. How do I fix what I did wrong and not let it happen again? or lessen its impact on my life so I can continue to move forward and make progress. She very clearly just wants to say, I'm human, I fuck up if I fuck up. It's because I'm human, I'm a victim, I'm not gonna take responsibility for myself, and I'm just gonna let my life continue to spiral downwards. That's not going to fix your problem. You need to say, okay, yes, I am the problem. I am the issue. I need to make a change. And yes, I'm not perfect, but I'm willing to learn. I'm willing to make a difference. I'm willing to try be willing based on the way unless they really get some more education and help i do not think tammy is going to be successful i think amy will be successful she seems to have a much higher level of emotional intelligence and dedication than tammy does and i hope i'm wrong going forward but based on what i'm seeing right now i, I don't think tammy is going to lose the weight. Well, that was Thousand Pound Sisters season one, episode two. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not already gone ahead and sub to the channel, make sure you go ahead and lick that like button, subscribe, because not only does it taste delicious, but it makes sure that you do not miss out on any of our uploads in the future. I also reacting to Botch with my plastic surgery reality TV reaction. So you guys can go watch that content too. You can go watch the other episode of Thousand Pound Sisters if you missed it and keep an eye out for other series and things that are gonna be happening here on the channel as well. But Without taking up any more of y'all's time, I will go ahead and let you beautiful people go. Goodbye, my lovelies.